Hi guys, we are painting the lion. Let's see, I got him all set up. I've got my sketched out canvas. Here's what we're gonna be working on. Step one, of course, you need your mixing plate. You need your paper towel. You're gonna need a little glass of water, jar, cup, whatever you can find. Um, I've got my brushes. I use three different sizes. Sorry, mine are kind of a, a hot mess. I just use them to paint the panda. So I've got my big one, my medium, and my small one. It's nice to have a different range of brush sizes just because you have smaller and larger areas to work in. Um, you don't necessarily have to have these sizes. It's just what I prefer. So I've got my big one for my big outside areas. This medium sized one that will kind of do my medium sized areas. And then the small one for small spots and detail lines. So I'm gonna get started. I have my paints. They're all right here in my little cups. Um, to start, I'm just gonna do background. I'm gonna use a nice big brush, the biggest one you can find. Well, maybe not the biggest one you can find. We don't need paint rollers. So, just big brush, black paint, and you're gonna fill in everything around the outside of the sketch. I'm working quickly. Um, feel free to pause the video while you work. I'll be right here when you catch up to move on. So I'm being fairly neat and tidy around my edge. The color we're going to be using for the lion is not going to be able to cover the black very well. So you want to be a little bit mindful of your edges. And do a nice thin even coat of paint trying to get all those little white pieces of my canvas covered try your hardest not to have globs you can always get more paint it's just hard to get it all pushed around if you've got tons and nowhere to put it so if you're painting like and your canvas looks like this this is a little tip that means you need more paint on your brush so this is not covering well at all. Just get more paint. See how much nicer that is. And eventually your brush will start running out and start making those marks again. And that's when it's time to scoop up a little bit more. Just get it nice and close to my edge, right up to that pencil line. canvas. I've got little pegs on my key, my easel. They're kind of getting in the way. I much prefer to paint flat on the tabletop, but I can't very well make the video and have you see it doing that. Struggling, struggling. All right, I'm just gonna pick it up. I don't know if you can see it. I can't really see what the camera has going on. I gotta believe some of it's in view. Temporarily holding it just to get my bottom nice and coated. All right. There, we're back. I'm going to get a smaller brush just to get in that little space and up closer to my my edges. Try to clean up. I don't want scraggly edges.
there. That's looking better. I'm not gonna be too fickle. Just wanna get pretty good coverage everywhere. Can always go back in and touch things up later if we need to. Okay, lion background painted. Next step is we're going to paint the head and the legs. And we're gonna be using this yellow color and the white color. We're gonna mix the two together to make a soft yellow. I need to clean out that black out of my brush. So I'm gonna really scrub it good on the bottom of my jar to get down deep into those bristles. Okay, and then just pat it dry on your towel. And oops, I dripped water on my plate. Okay, so I'm gonna scoop out a little bit of my yellowy color. Really doesn't take much at all. And kind of scrape the extra off my brush, clean out my brush so I can get some white. Scoop up some white. And I'm just gonna stir that right in with my yellow. And this is the color of my lion's head and body. Well, head and legs. Just, I should, we should probably wait. I see, before I just go diving in there, I do have some wet paint on my edges. So the only issue with that is if I, cause I'm gonna probably overlap a little bit. And if I do that and my black paint is wet, it's going to get into my yellow paint. And I don't really want that to happen. So you guys go ahead and let yours air dry. I'm gonna blast mine with, with a blow dryer just so I can move on. All right, maybe not completely dry, but pretty good. And I'm just gonna go in, and I do overlap a little, that way I don't have a gap between my canvas, or not my canvas, my, my two colors. So it's better to just kind of overlap a little rather than leave an edge of blank canvas. You wanna make sure you're getting all those pencil lines from the sketch covered. And this color is really nice and light, so you can go right over those eye lines. Still see them. They'll be painted black, and that will cover this color very easily. I'm using my medium-sized brush. Give them these little cheekies. Cheeky. And this little chin. Probably should switch to a smaller brush, but I'm just going to go with it. Fabulous. And on to the legs. A little crazy. That's all right. I don't stress out too much over it. Happy accidents. We just roll with it. Takes the fun out of it if you stress out over it the whole time. Try to make it so perfect. It'll never be perfect. Fabulous. So I see I have a little bit of a glob there. I don't like that so much. So I'm just gonna brush it, smooth it out. There, all better. So the next step is I'm gonna paint 
this little pink spot in his mouth. And to make pink, it's pretty easy. So it's two colors. You're gonna use a little bit of white. And we don't need, well, we can make up a little bit more of this because if you wanna add it into your lion's mane, you're not gonna wanna have to make this color again. So you might as well just mix up a little bit extra now. So I've got my white on my plate. Now I'm going to stir in some red. There, that looks pretty good to me. And that's what you see. I got a big old goober on my brush. So I'm just gonna wipe it out. I don't wanna start with that much paint. I just wanted to go in with a little bit because that is a very small space. And just fill in those little mouths. Easy breezy. Next, we're gonna go in and add some white fur. I'm using my smaller brush and I'm just gonna brush right on top of the yellow paint that we've added, painted his head and stuff. I'm just gonna flick upward and just give him like little furs coming out of his ears. One, two, three, four or so, whatever you're feeling. He needs some furs that kind of come up on his forehead. Some furs that are gonna be a little short over here because of the eyes and longer in the middle than short again, around the top of the nose. I'm gonna do some kind of long wispy ones, a little short here, and then as I work this way, a little bit longer. So short, short, a little longer, a little longer, a little longer. And I'll brush a little on his little chin and then swirl some around the cheeks. Doesn't take much paint at all. If you do end up with more than you want, so I can just tone this down. Just pick up some of the color, that yellowy color that we painted his head. You could just put some of that right over top and it will tone it down a bit so it's not quite so bold. But that's personal preference. If you want, like it that way, keep it that way. It's yours. I'm also gonna add a little bit of white down on his legs. So I'm just gonna swoop it down, a little bit down on the feet. So just a little bit on there. Just so it's not just a flat color, you get a little bit more dimension when you add a little bit of the lighter, lighter color on top. Next step is just that we're gonna do all of our black things. So that would involve the eyeballs. Using a small brush, just painting in this little oval shape. His nose. And I'm gonna take this black all the way down and around the edge of his little cheek. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. He needs eyebrows. So just a real thin little swoop over his eye. And whiskers. And those are just quick lines. I have three on each cheek. So one, two, three. 
One, two, three. I don't know why I'm cleaning my brush. Not necessary. I have a little bit more black to do. I'm gonna add just this little line between the little leggies, and I'm gonna give them three little toenails on each foot. Now we get to do the fun part, the main. Well, it's all been fun, but the super fun part where we get to use more fun colors. So I'm gonna use my medium sized brush and I'm just gonna start with this yellow color that we painted the lion to start with. And I'm just gonna get in there and start filling in some of the hairs. So at the top, I'm just gonna, see, it's just little lines, they're kind of wiggly. I'm gonna have them kind of bend as I come around. So my angle of my line starts to come downward as I come down the lion's head and there's a little space between his head and where I start my lines so there's gonna be a little bit of a black outlining edge when we finish I'm gonna go right over top here oops I got some wet black it'll be all right So I don't want to fill it in too much because I've got a lot of other colors I'm going to be layering on top. So that's a good start. And since I have pink already made, I will add some pink in there. It's already on my plate for when I made the little tongue color. Same thing. You're just going to kind of stagger them. You can do a little on top of others and then try to get kind of in between Again, right over top of his legs. And I'm just going all the way around. Making him colorful. Next, since I have some blue, might as well use some blue. My little cup. And I am gonna add a little bit of white to this blue. So a little blue on my plate. Maybe a little bit more because I don't want to run out. A little blue on my plate. And I'm going to stir that in with some white. So I got my blue and my white. Stir that together. And then I'm going to go in and add some blue ones. Since I have blue and pink, I can make a purple mixing those two colors together. So you can take a scoop of your pink, a scoop of your blue, stir that together for a bit of a purpley color, and put some purple ones in. And then my last color I'm gonna use is just gonna be a little bit of white. And this just helps make all those other colors pop. So white paint. And just a few little sprigs throughout. And you don't even have to do the same colors that I use. You can do whatever you want. And a lot of you probably have other colors that you can work with at home as well that, as what came in your kit. So you can be all kinds of creative here. There. And then I just have a couple more little things to do to finish him off. And I'll be able to sign my name. So I'm gonna take my little brush And just a smidge of white paint. I'm gonna put a little reflective dot of white in the eye. 
And then on the top of the nose, I'm gonna give that a little highlight too, but instead of white, I'm gonna use purple. Make it fun. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of my purple and just brush it on the tip of his nose. And that completes our painting. We can sign it. I like to add a little water into some paint. It doesn't matter what color you choose. It doesn't matter where you sign it. Some people like to do just initials. I just do my first name. And just quickly just swoop on my name there and I'm done. When you guys are all finished, I would appreciate it if you would please, please, please take the time to just take a photo of your finished work. Um, post it on Facebook and tag Willy Nilly. That way I could see all your awesome projects. I would appreciate that. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a bunch.